Hi guys, my name is Luka Stanisic and today I'm going to be doing video essay on video games. Fighting games are more interesting to a regular player than other games because of the sufficiency of action. Topic I wanted to touch on in this video is about combat video games being overmade and overplayed. People say the point of every game today is to kill or be killed. As an enjoyer of combat games, it's really hard to stay biased when talking about this topic. Video games are not all about fighting, but as much as I agree that the story of the game is important, it's not the main thing in my opinion. The main thing is the gameplay itself. The story is a tool that makes the gameplay better and brings you closer to the character. Not many people realize this, but it has very little to do with how fun the gameplay itself is. The video game Cuphead is the game that has both. I mean this game was amazing. It was recommended by a good friend of mine and a fellow gamer Mr. Rowley. This game is just wild. From the beginning the storyline starts strong as Cuphead and Mugman, the main characters, are in Devil's Casino gambling with the devil himself. Devil makes an offer. If Mugman and Cuphead win, they can take all of his riches. But if they lose, Devil will take their souls. After they threw dice, the Cuphead and Mugman fate was decided. They lost. Begging for their life, they asked the Devil for one more chance in life. Devil thinks about it and sends them to collect the souls of the people that owe him. The video game itself is full of boss fights and adventures and I found that very interesting. At the end of the game, you have to fight the final boss, the devil himself. This was the part that was really hard for me. It took me a long time to complete this final course, final boss fight, but it was worth it. After I won, I released all of the souls from the devil's contract, saving Inkwell's Isles residence. The gameplay was really fun, but the thing I enjoyed the most was the graphics. God, I can't explain how much I enjoyed the graphics of this game. Like it took me back 15 years when I was just a little kid from Serbia waiting for the weekend so I can watch Disney shows because that was the only time they were showing. This game was so nostalgic to me, it really brings me back to my childhood and makes me feel like a kid again. This game took me 3 or more hours to finish and I enjoyed every second of it. But 3 hours in one go is a long time. Especially for someone who is not used to playing games for long. That's why many people will agree that video games are a big time killer and that their only use is to waste time. But I disagree on that. There are some people, such as myself, they thank video games for letting them through a hard time in their life. Video games are much more than people think they are. They are not a waste of time. They are a form of art that is yet to be praised for its worth. And not a lot of people recognize it. A lot of video games are educational and you can actually learn something from it. The game I recently played with my classmates and had a lot of fun while playing was God of War 3. I enjoyed the gameplay, but that's not the only part of the game I enjoyed. It was the storyline too. I think a game with a storyline is like a, without a storyline is like a movie without a plot or a song without a beat. I can't stress how important a storyline for a video game is. Even though I said it's not the most important thing, I think it's very important because it just brings you closer to the character. And the reason for this is that video games with a story make you feel the things that your character is feeling. Feel, feel the game itself. The game God of War 3 is a Greek mythology, a story, an old one. One of the oldest mythologies in the world. 
It shows the principle of gods and how they were worshipped. But all in all, video games are all about having fun and learning something new while doing it. People play video games because in video games they can do something they can't do in real life. That's why a lot of people's escapes are video games itself. Doesn't matter what kind it can be. It can be a MOBA, it can be a FPS game, it can even be a puzzle game. The thing that matters is that you're having fun. That was Luca, and see you guys next semester.